and they're going to continue to increase money and credit and monetize. They can't do anything but. Hmm. By the way, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there is a video that is posted on republicbroadcasting.org, uh, and it's down in the lower section. Just look at the video section, The Hidden Cost of War. And it is a two-minute and 40-second video presentation that tells you exactly. And just going from my figures, just from the outset of deploying 30,000 troops of what it's going to cost, but you know the one thing, Bob, everybody is staying away from all this money that has been floated out there. And, geez, the news media gets real giddy when General Motors suggests that they're going to pay a few billion dollars back. We're talking here about massive deficits. And now, do you think that the banks are going to say, oh, well, thank you, government and people of this country. You know, um, we've borrowed all this money. And, uh, well, you know, we're going to make repayment easy for you. We're going to, we're going to offer you a zero interest on this deal. In other words, Guido, the international bankster gangster here, the juice is still running. And, and don't be fooled by low interest rates on all this money that's being loaned right now. This is going to start to ramp up. It has to. Otherwise, they're going to be fighting this bear that they're not going to be able to slay. And that's called hyperinflation. So we are not even talking about, uh, let's see, nine trillion, twenty-four trillion. Ah, oh, geez, let's just call it thirty-five trillion bucks. Who's going to pay the interest on that? Now they're projecting. Now get this: they're projecting that in the year twenty eleven uh, or twenty fifteen, rather, uh, that well, you know, there might be a little adjustment on the interest, but you know, they're they're, they're predicting that the IRS is going to take in a trillion and a half dollars in twenty fifteen. Are they out of their minds? We got twenty two percent of the we got twenty two percent of the population that's out of work right now. And folks, let me remind you, if you don't think this is a depression, if you don't think it's a depression, you better back go back in the wayback machine here and take a look at history past. At the peak in this country, we had thirty percent unemployment at the peak of the depression back in the thirties. We are already at twenty two percent and we're barely two years into this recession slash depression. And Bob, what just happened the other day? Bad news out of Dubai. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, I think Greece is going to be next. And that's going to affect the euro. And, and it, there is no obligation of the other members or of uh, the European Central Bank to bail Greece out. Now, if they don't bail Greece out, then they will walk away from their debt and default upon it, and they will leave the Eurozone. And uh, close behind them are Ireland, Spain, Portugal, Italy, and Belgium. So there's going to be a lot of fireworks this coming year. It is going to be one of the most deplorable economic and financial years in the history of mankind and it's going to get worse after that who's going to come that's why we can who's going to come riding to greece's rescue i mean you know well it's not going to be the cypriots <laughs> <laughs> no greece uh you know they can't even talk to macedonia they don't want them either so uh i don't think anybody is and and that could start a ball rolling. All those loans are not going to be repaid. And then we've got Spain and Ireland and Portugal. And, you know, these, even Italy is in dire straits. All of them should have never been in, in, invited into the European uh, Central Bank or the Eurozone. It was crazy. And, you know, everybody was Mickey Mousing their figures. Uh, the, the debt is a percentage of GDP at 3% or lower. And everybody knew it. Uh, you know, they just wanted to put together this, uh, new world order stepping stone called the European Union. And now finally they bludgeoned the rest of them, uh, to accept a constitution which deprives them of just about everything. And over there in England, it's even worse. 
And uh, there's going to be revolution throughout the world in places you'd never expect it. You know, I... I am just I am just fascinated. You, you know what I think the real disease in this country is, guys, is denial. You know. Yeah, well, it's a big part, that's for sure. Well, and 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 look at it. I mean, budgetary. When we play politics in this country, budget is always an issue, well, at least for the masses to make people think that they're they want budgetary constraints. I'm, carrying this kind of debt, I'm thirty five trillion bucks. I mean, what they've done is they've just walked away from any responsibility whatsoever to to, to the people of this country. I, well, I, they get paid for that. Yeah. They're almost all of them are crooks. It's a criminal enterprise. It, it just fascinates me. I, I mean, and, and the media. Oh, God. Oh, you know, uh, oh, yeah, well, there's, there's, <clears throat> there's your problem right there. If If you had an honest media that would inform the people <clears throat> rather than distort the information, um, <clears throat> people would have been up in arms a long time ago. Every successive administration has kicked the can down the road. At some point in time, um, we're going to come to the end of the road. When that's going to be, I, I'm not sure, but I, I, I got a feeling it's not too long from now. Amazing. Simple it is amazing. amazing. I, uh, and I mean, and, 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can add this to this conversation is all of you people who are listening are very fortunate because you're learning the truth. And you, you know, if you've been listening for a long time, it's imbued in your mind. And this is something that few people hear and fewer people can grasp. And as John said, the denial mechanism gets in the way. And you're going to survive. You're going to have food and you're going to be able to protect yourself and obtain clean water. And you're going to have something to barter with, the coins that you're purchasing from Republic. And you get a tremendous advantage on everybody else. <laughs> And as I've said before, when the starving masses, the heretofore, would not listen to you and they show up at your front door, it's going to be hard for some people to close it in their face, but that is a must. I'm not a mathematician, and I don't have calculators around here that have the ability to put in a lot of zeros, but am I right in my math? Somebody called in and said you're wrong. Uh, 30,000 and a million apiece, that's three trillion, isn't it, guys? Don't ask me. I don't know anything. <laughs> hey, incidentally, John, to let you off the hook, what's that? I just got an email from Fox News Radio, <laughs> and they want me to be on all of their affiliates tomorrow. Really? And yeah. what? And why would they want Bob Chapman to be on their I radio affiliates tomorrow? Maybe it's because they've been watching the ratings, and I've been beating Hannity, Savage, Beck. Limba, Dr. Laura. Who did I miss? Oh, O'Reilly. Mm. Mark Levin. Day after day, I've been beating them. They, they just, they, they must say, who is this masked man? Well, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't get one from CNN because they lost Lou Dobbs. By the way, uh, just... oh, incidentally, I got to make comment on that. On uh, this is uh, what is it? Talk Live Radio. Mm -hmm. Whatever the streamer is called, I'd have to go look at it here. Uh, it's it's a funny name like that, and he's way down. I mean, he's like twenty or twenty fifth down down out of fifty. You know, they have fifty talk shows on an hour, uh, more or less. All he's that, way down there. All I, I was, that. All I, that I think flattering. it's because of the recent position that he took, uh, saying that, that he was a pal. Uh, those people who have been breaking the law uh, in our country. Hmm. Interesting. you got to let us know how that turns out. By the way, what did you think about Lou Dobbs uh, over the issue with uh, whatever his name was, Stein at CNN, about uh, uh, some phony baloney reasons why he left, and then Lou Dobbs turns right around and he wants to grant amnesty to all the illegals in the country. <laughs> That's right. He is. He has totally destroyed himself. I'm telling you, I, I I couldn't believe he did it. 
He couldn't even well, wait. I might have told him, you know, if you want a nice small hole in the back of your head, you better go do it. Well, and, Somebody and, had been shooting at his house. Let me tell you something. Hmm. Somebody shoots at my house, we return fire. <laughs> hey, look, he... He turned nine. He turned nine million dollars down on the balance of his contract, and he is with he was with CNN for how many years? So how many millions? Eighty six. Yeah. How, how many millions of dollars has he tucked away? I mean, this guy has the luxury of going and buying his own island if he wants to. Yeah, but what he's done here is duplicitous, and okay. uh, it's so typical of people. Uh, they want to be accepted. I see it in the newsletter industry. I mean, they won't come out and say who's doing what and what they are. They won't talk about the Illuminati, the elitists, the people who run the show worldwide, and that they've done it for, you know, the last thousand or two years. They, they won't do it because they want to be accepted.